Welcome back. This is an exercise lesson. In this tutorial, I'm going to be creating a toothed gear. Let's begin by activating the circle tool. We place the center point, let's say 20, 12.5. Enter. And the radius is going to be 10 units. Let's create another circle now. The snap toggle is on and snap to center is active. I'm going to snap my second circle to the center point of the first. The radius of this circle will be 7 units. Enter. Next, I'm going to create a line. Again, snap to center. Let's turn ortho mode on now. I want a line which crosses both circles. Right click and enter to close the tool. Next, I'm going to activate the circular array command. Polar array. Let's select the line. Right click to finish our selection. Now let's select the center and the number of items. Let's say 3, enter. And lastly, I'm asked to specify the angle to fill. I'm going to enter minus 40 degrees. Press enter. And right click and exit to close the tool. My next step will be to explode the array. Let's activate the explode command on the modify panel. Now select the array. Right click to finish the selection. And now we've got three separate lines. Now I'm going to use the trim command. Pressing enter will let me trim all the objects. Let's begin trimming. This line. Now when I try to trim this line, AutoCAD won't let me. But there's a workaround that we can try. Let's right click in blank space, select erase. Now select the line. Right click to finish our selection. And the line disappears. Let's activate the circular array again. Window select our geometry. Right click to finish the selection. Next, let's specify the center point of the circular array. Next, I've got to specify the number of items. To do so, let me pull in the quick calculator. Let's right click in blank space and scroll down to the quick calculator. Let's enter 360 divided by 40 equals 9. So our gear is going to have 9 teeth. Let's click apply and the angle 360 degrees. Right click and exit to accept our work and close the tool. Now let's create a few holes. We'll activate the circle tool, snap to the center of the array, radius one unit, enter. To create our next hole, we need some support geometry. Ortho mode is on. Distance, let's say three units, enter. And right click and enter to close the tool. Activate the circle command again. Another circle here, radius, let's say 0.5 units, enter. Let's activate the polar array command again. We'll select this circle, right click to finish the selection. Now specify the center point, the number of instances, let's say 3, enter. The angle, let's say 360 degrees, right click and exit. OK, let's apply a hatch pattern now. Activate the hatch command. Now we need to select an object or pick an internal point. Let's left click inside the array. And let's change the scale now to 4. Enter. And let's close the hatch editor. And here's our toothed gear. This concludes our exercise.